Hello, hello everybody, it's your Prof Chop, and we're back again with a new casual geographic video. This is animal diseases that belong in a horror movie. I'm gonna be honest with you, this was one of those videos I saw it and I was like, oh wow, this looks awful. So I'm gonna click on it because of I don't know why. I'm not sure why I clicked on this. It looks awful. So let's go. Oh hell nah. Why are you running? Why are you running? In place. Huh. Oh, yeah. Ah, spooky season. Raccoons. I saw a lot of those in the US. We talked about all the ways nature and the things in it can put you on a shirt, but we never talked about how diseases can have animals oh. permanently parallel to the ground. Oh. So that's what this video is. Hey. Animal diseases that are rated R for the regret I feel when I see what researching them has done oh. in search history. And of course, viewer discretion is very much advised, especially for disease number one. What's a Halloween video without a oh jump scare? Oh my god! This photo was taken just outside the Caribbean Bay Hotel in Zimbabwe. Okay, where... listen, I know it's kind of creepy, but I mean, why does he have one black and one pink nipple? Appears to be a hairless baboon. The deep pelted primate appeared to be an outcast, only following her true from a distance, I wonder almost why. as if she had been rejected from I her wonder appearance. why. And according to a nearby vet, the most likely cause for this abandoned baboon's condition, mange. Mange oh, is a nasty looking disease caused by parasitic mites burrowing into the skin where their collective feces can cause severe allergic Wait, reactions the and unbearable amount of itching. That's why the main calling card of mange is turning animals into the most down bad version of themselves. And while the word mangy is Ooh. usually an insult reserved for dogs, these mites can be a certainty from anything oh. from foxes to bears oh. to porcupines, oh. Oh. occasionally birds like eagles, I mean, and those many, things. many more. In fact, the legend of the Chupacabra was more than likely jump-started by a severely mited up coyote. And in 1996, there was an outbreak of sarcoptic mange that griefed a family of mountain gorillas in Uganda, even expiring one of their babies. Ooh. The mites themselves aren't a death sentence, but they slowly weaken the target, making them yeah, much more vulnerable to infections. But that and they can do easily though. spread, especially if you're a wombat who's burrow mates with a walking mite oh. mosh pit. The mites are Bro, wombats are so cute though. So persistent that in Pennsylvania, a black bear with more than 50% oh. hair loss is considered a lost cause. And not only is it retired from life, it's also incinerated so the past tense bear oh. can't possibly infect any others. Is there and a lot yes, like- mange is zoonotic, meaning it can be passed zoonotic? on from animals to humans. And when that happens, it's called scabies. Hey, hey, okay. I thought this was about animal diseases. Let's, let's stop the horror to animals. To be fair, it's normally easy to treat in people, okay, but those enough. with weak immune systems or those taking immunosuppressants can find themselves gatekept from a life of comfort. There's also demodex mites, which shack up in okay, hair follicles, disturbing. even a couple species that Extremely make their disturbing. home in the human eye. So yeah, mange what? just might be the most aesthetically upsetting ailment here. The polar opposite of the next disease, because where mange is visually visceral, oh, zoocosis is almost purely zoocosis. psychological. You've probably heard of the condition where animals in captivity do the same thing over and over with no goal or purpose, almost like I have... they're in a trance. And one of the most no, popular, I have not heard that at all. popular examples of this are those videos of elephants swaying back and forth. Except zoocosis I've is never much seen this. more than that. Of course, you have your swaying and almost neurotic pacing around their enclosure. But the zoocosis signature also includes excessive grooming, personal punishment like self-biting and self-mutilation, turning puke into an infinite food glitch, and Whoa. coprophagia, even in animals that what? wouldn't normally do it. What? The what? disturbing part is, like mange, it's believed that zoocosis can also be contagious. If an to animal humans? is housed next to one exhibiting the stereotypes associated with it, chances are that same animal okay, will that's too. Extremely this creepy. captive psychosis is likely triggered by a lack of stimulation and enrichment, and it's more common in higher intelligence animals, especially those uh -huh. that would normally have a wider range. Elephants checking both boxes is likely why 40% of captive turned pachyderms show symptoms of zoocosis. Orcas are one of the smartest non-human creatures alive. Jeez, and can that is so sad though. Travel well oh over 40 miles God. a day for food. And almost a year ago today, in 2022, a captive orca named Hugo tragically resigned from reality after violently slamming into his tank wall until he suffered a life-ending aneurysm. Oh. And in 2005, a mother homodrous baboon groomed her baby so excessively that he looked like he came out the womb beefing with wizards. To be fair, we can't really prove hey, that this was zoocosis on, working on, over <laughs> Oh, my motherfucker is just ugly. For time, but bro got huh? the Mr. Clean cut. That ain't a fade, it's a flea. But the most popular and probably most depressing case of kosis was Gus. Gus, Gus was a polar bear that lived Ow. in Central Park Zoo for 25 years. Gus At one point, visitors Gus. and keepers noticed that Gus would spend all day swimming in figure eights, sometimes for up to 12 hours straight. Keep in mind that polar bears can Damn. cover nearly 50 miles in a day searching for seals. Not only did the zoo spend 25 grand on therapy for the bear, 
Gus went on to make history as the damn 25k on therapy for a polar bear. Very first zoo animal to be put on Prozac. Speaking Prozac? of which, the 25,000 bones of behavioral therapy basically amounted to the therapist saying, it be like that. This isn't an anti-zoo video or me trying to basically amounted to the therapist saying, it be like that. According to the therapist, Gus is just bored and mildly crazy in the way that a lot of people are in New York. He ordered an enrichment program for the Pope that included a, a redesigned habitat, challenges at mealtime, new toys, and brother, they paid you 25k an for that? This video or me trying to morally grandstand to y'all. I think zoos have the potential for a lot of good and a lot of bad. True. It's just that the bad can lead to a chronically pilled out polar. Yeah. But wait, it gets darker. Because it does? Because how far removed humans have gotten from nature, there's a legitimate fear that humanity oh, as a on. whole could be suffering from zoocosis on a global scale. That joke about us being no different than ants stuck in a death spiral becomes less and less of a okay, joke. Okay, again, it's real philosophical up. and real scary. Do you remember the Will Smith movie I Am Legend? Yeah, it was so good. Before publicly neutered him and then smoked it. Yeah, and dad with the wife as well. Yo, his wife ugly as so hell. I don't get that. His family jewels in two packs. Well, the post-apocalyptic movie started with a doctor it attempting to re-engineer the measles virus in an attempt to find a cure for cancer, instead infecting 99% of the human race. A pretty good Where example going of with what this? can happen when humans try to play God with the natural order. Another example is what happened in Florida, specifically Silver Springs State Park. It's Florida's very first tourist attraction, uh -huh. famous for having a couple Tarzan movies shot there. And in the 1930s, tour boat operator Colonel Tui- oh, The music is so creepy! He was looking for a way to spice up his jungle cruise ride. So he brought in six Reese's macaques and had them placed on a small island in the park. And mm -hmm. it was at this moment, they f***ed up. Apparently, nobody involved the humans or the, the monkeys, monkeys could swim. And the moment they touched down on dry land, the macaques proceeded to swim out to the mainland. And following lots of multiplying without a calculator, mm -hmm. there are now currently hundreds of rogue macaques, with a good number of them carrying... It's kind of like the rodents in Australia. What was it? It was a... Was it rabbits in Australia that fuck up the ecosystem? A deadly herpes virus. Herpes oh. B is an incapacitating herpes condition B. that can cause severe brain inflammation, permanent neurological well, damage, like that, and though. a permanent lease in a casket-shaped condo. Now, fear-mongering aside, Ugh. the chances of catching Ugh. it from a monkey are incredibly rare. Damn, that's fun. But not rare enough okay. to be zero. Oh, in 1997, that. a researcher was working with a Reese's when she was splashed in the eye by indeterminate fluids. Even after immediately flushing her eye, piss cum shit, all of the above. Out for several minutes, the 22-year-old died December 10th, 1997, almost exactly six weeks after first being exposed. They According to the don't. Center of Disease Control, since 1932, there have been 51 cases of 51 people cases. being infected with the B virus, with 21 deaths and an 80% mortality rate for those untreated. That same fatal virus is currently being backpacked by up to a quarter of Back the hundreds of macaques <laughs> running around the Sunshine State. Worse, on, I believe they shed the potent virus through their saliva. So far, there's no known case of one of these Marion County monkeys passing off the virus to a human. The problem is, the monkeys have managed yo, to lose their yo. natural fear of humans, and there was what? even one incident where the park had to be shut down. Hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I find these low ass, annoying ass monkeys extremely unlikable. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like these fuckers. If I had a gun, I will not continue that train of thought. After I don't like these monkeys at all. By an especially Annoying little fuckers. Cat. It's the worst kind of invasive, and it's 100% our fault. And although the virus peddling primates haven't caught a human body, it's definitely one of those cases of F around and find out. Hmm. Fair enough. One of the most unsettling diseases in nature is a sickness that affects deer, known deer. as chronic wasting disease. Chronic also wasting it essentially disease. destroys the animal from the inside out. In fact, this type of disease is a transmissible spongiform encephalopathy, a name that literally okay. comes from the fact that it causes several sponge-like holes Sponge in the brain. Pop? It's like the forbidden final boss of trypophobia, and it's caused by a single misfolded protein known as a prion. This prion, prion. triggers a chain reaction where the Normal only outcome disease is a canceled life prion. subscription, and the only thing the victim can do is wait for the sweet release of death. Here's what the endgame of a deer with CWD looks like. It starts with a misfolded protein affecting and altering perfectly normal proteins. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a cellular level cheese touch, and the moment it starts, <laughs> it's already over. Step two includes Damn. the prions exploding in numbers exponentially and accumulating in the body. The whole mm -hmm. time the deer, elk, or moose looks and acts perfectly normal. 
the deer can walk around with this disease for two whole years before the chronic becomes critical. Eventually, it escalates to the point where the prions manage to break into the blood-brain barrier, where they start destroying neurons, putting enough holes in the brain to get it cursed out by an octopus, and slowly wasting the poor <laughs> unexpected deer. Deer with CWD seem unable to process anything around them, including uh, danger, oh. and if predators oh. playing freeze tag on the freeway doesn't take them off the senses, they die a slow and painful death to starvation as their brains shut down. Damn. The worst part is, the nightmare doesn't end once the deer does, since the prions responsible can exist in an area years after the victim, and can even be absorbed by plants in contaminated soil. That's assuming they don't just leach into groundwater. In fact, the only surefire way to eliminate a prion is literally fire? that. Fire? Ah, Except, it's not as simple as sense. cremating a casualty. That'd be too easy. It's said that it takes heat at a minimum of 900 degrees Fahrenheit or 482 degrees Celsius to properly pack up a Jesus. prion, and some sources say to hike that up to 1800 to be safe. But hey. the part that makes prions one of the most Ooh. horrific things not native to a horror movie is where they come from. It's believed there are three main factors that cause prion diseases. Genetics play a relatively small okay. part, with only 10 to 15 percent of cases in people hey, being what are you doing, brother? them. The second and by hey, far I see most the common cause is the disease being sporadic. Basically, what, that what just the means hell that is not science mean? can fully explain where they come from. That, that just happens. It happens out of nowhere. And the third is an infected deer contaminated. That is pretty scary. Eating something like a water source or a feeding station with body fluids and passing and it off get... to the next. And remember, Wait, not only can prion have we not figured any ways to treat this? Prions insist on existing years after the fact. Keep in mind that most infected deer look no different from any other, right until it's time to disconnect from interface eternally. That means that the three main causes of wasting disease are completely RNG, and that is remarkably RNG. terrifying. <laughs> yeah, and it's you not don't just want deer RNG that. Get up by prions. There's mad cow disease in cattle and scrapie in sheep. Named after the fact that it can cause them to compulsively rub oh. up against things like fence posts until they literally oh, scrape brother. their wool off. There's even a human equivalent, Kreutzfeldt Jakob disease. Kreutzfeldt Jakob. While there's no known reports of a human ever. It's kind of familiar. It must have been on House or something like that, right? Catching CWD. I think I've heard of it. Specialists have warned that with the thousands of CWD infected animals eaten by people a year, there's growing concern that the disease may eventually be transmitted to people. But maybe it's still a lot better than the last, and in my opinion, the is most it? horrific disease in oh, this video. Oh, we don't know what the last one is. Not only is rabies one of the harshest oh, rabies. sentences nature can serve. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that if you don't, if you get rabies and you don't treat rabies at a certain time, it's a 99 point something death sentence for people. And it's extremely painful. And people told me that you hate water if you get rabies. So you can't drink water or take a shower. I don't know which one's worse, probably both Earth. of them. It is 100% transmissible to humans. So yeah, if you get Rabies bitten by something, very nearly get the vaccine, brother. A year. And since the most 60, common way what to get the it hell? Is, Rabies is said to bury nearly 60,000 people a year. Yo, that's a lot. the most common way to get it is through dog bites, it's the worst in places with a high stray population. Which that's is why a lot India, a country that criminalized murking stray dogs, has about 20,000 names I didn't know that about a India. year by rabies. And it's children that are especially at risk, with about 40% of deaths coming from those 15 years old or younger. Here's what it's like to be turned into a statistic by rabies. It starts with the virus entering the peripheral nervous system, usually through a bite. Mm. Then it travels inside you through oh, nerves that's, until it reaches part of the That's a bad spot to get bitten. Right in the elbow. Central Ugh. nervous system, or the spinal cord. From there, it's a straight shot directly to the brain. And at this point, that's you ass. can start drafting your will because ain't no way. While you can treat the virus before it reaches the brain, once it does, you're almost guaranteed to become a was. The virus then multiplies, then spreads throughout the body, slowly oh, killing Jesus. the brain out. But the underrated and truly sinister aspect of rabies is how it seemingly oh, rewires so your creepy. brain for its own purposes. One of the telltale signs of rabies is a crippling fear of water, where just the sight or suggestion hey, I know of some it things. can cause incredibly okay. painful spasms. Oh, I look the like a dumb motherfucker, but at the I same time, things. the virus attacks the salivary glands, causing excessive drooling and the foaming at the mouth the disease is oh, famous look for. Cute and that's because door. the virus is most concentrated in the mouth, and swallowing or drinking water. Okay, that's not cute so at all. Hydrophobia helps keep the mouth and all the nastiness inside as potent as possible. And that's not the only way rabies manipulates its mark. There's believed to be three stages of rabies in animals. You got the prodromal stage, and that's where the animal Prodromo. might start showing minor changes in behavior. And then you got the phase likely everyone associates with rabies, Aggression. the excitative stage. It's been excitative. called furious rabies since it's characterized by heightened aggression and random that's a demon. outbursts of that's violence. A demon. Animals that would normally be wary of people, such as foxes, can attack completely out of nowhere oh, with bites. Wow, that's, Remember, oh being my a water god, just woman. makes that bite that much more toxic. And then oh. there's a paralytic. Bro. 
How are you so bad at defending yourself? Grab it by the throat with both hands and go like this. Like, it's a small ass fox. Stop going like this and protect yourself. God damn it. It is annoying me how bad people are and disconnected from the world around surviving. This is where you might see a normally introverted mammal show zero fear in humans. But don't be fooled. They're still liable to bite to serve the virus's purpose. The nightmare usually ends with Yo, the that girl thirsty as hell. Respiratory arrest as its body finally just gives up. And your fate is almost no better if you're a human, since rabies has one of the highest KD ratios of any disease, <laughs> nice even though it's also one of the oldest. It flexes a nearly 100% fatality yeah, rate. Yeah. Nearly means there's still a chance. In 2004, 15 year old Gina Gizi contracted rabies after being infected by a bat. And the moment by she started bat? experiencing symptoms. Wait, bats can have rabies as well? Oh. And she was, statistically speaking, a walking corpse. Dr. Willoughby, who had studied up on rabies, figured their last chance was to put the teenager in a coma, in a last-ditch effort to save her brain and give her body a reasonable chance to fight off the virus. Mm -hmm. About a week after she was induced, Gina nice. miraculously started producing rabies antibodies. W. And after Euro-stepping death, she would go Euro through the grueling death. rehab of relearning how to walk, talk, and even stand. Because oh, even when you're lucky, it death. ain't easy being yeah. easy. She became the first person to ever survive the rabies virus without a vaccination, and even went wow. on to start a family. But don't nice. get it twisted. The Milwaukee protocol that saved her has been used on 41 people, and only six have survived. The hey. ones that do still run the risk. I mean, that's still an okay percentage. No, it's not. Oh, God, it's like 10% or some shit. Disabled, which is the best you can do when negotiating with death, since... That's exactly what treating rabies is. It's a horrifically debilitating disease, and even though it takes about one to three months to show symptoms after being infected, there have been cases of people walking around with the virus for seven years. What? At the same time, if the virus manages to invade you close enough Damn. to your brain, you can easily be down bad less than a week after being exposed. Exactly. Virtual so if you get bitten by a wild ass animal, you go and get the rabies vaccine, okay? I think they have a test as well. Where kill rate and the you can see if you're gonna have it. To it a year so don't go for the vaccine the immediately or something. But viruses out there, which is why the don't greatest test basketball that shit. player of all time isn't Michael Jordan, LeBron James, or even Kobe Bryant. It's Manu Ginobili. Hey, I mean Manu's pretty good, but who has Kobe in the conversation with Jordan and LeBron? Come because on, during bro. the Spurs Kings game in 2009, a bat managed to find its way inside what? the arena, causing everyone to immediately panic. Until the 6 5 do, Argentinian man? backhanded the yeah, bat and put it out of commission. And there proceeded to help lead his team to a e you, baby. Win, along with a victory by TKO against the bat. <laughs> one man managed to potentially solo one of the deadliest viruses of all time. And he wasn't even a starter. And you'll never guess what day this happened. Yeah, that's Damn. right. Happy Halloween and stay safe out there. I was wondering why he brought that up, but... Okay, well... That was mildly creepy, wasn't it? Now we know animals have it just as bad as us. Maybe even worse because they don't have any healthcare. So they're kind of like Americans, which is quite unfortunate. I'm sorry, Americans. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Let me know what y'all think and like, comment, subscribe. Bye, everybody. Don't get rabies.